Today we're taking a look at a 128 scale four-wheel drive stunt car from RC Fun Kid and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Motors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. So today we're going to look at this RC Fun Kid 128 scale four-wheel drive stunt car here. What we're going to do is, is we're going to unbox this and then we're going to take it outside and run it. So let's go ahead and get started. Now let's see what all this comes with here. Pop the box open here and pull it out. Make sure there's nothing else in the box. What we got here is a user instruction manual here. Not very much to it. One page here. Front and back. Looks like it tells you everything you need to know about it. And then we've got the controller here. And we've got the actual RC car here. It comes with, get this all out of here. It's got one battery here, and I think there's a battery in it because it's supposed to come with two batteries. Then it's got your USB charger here, your screwdriver to work on it, and then comes with your batteries here. For your remote, that's a nice touch that they give you the batteries for the remote. You got everything you need to run this right off the bat. Now let's go over some of the features about all this. On the car, it is a dual motor setup. It does 360 degree turns, 180 degree flips. It has some grippy tires on it. It's got rechargeable batteries. It's got a 2.4 gigahertz radio. Now what that means is if you got two or more of these, you can run them and the radio won't interfere with the other ones. So you guys could run them around, race them. That's a real nice touch on these. It's four wheel drive and it's got headlights in the front of it. It has a distance of 30 meters, a charge time of one and a half hours and a run time of 25 to 30 minutes on that. That's not bad. Now I wanna take a look at the radio here. You got your two joysticks here. You got your forwards, backwards and reverse on that. You got your on off switch right here. That's pretty much all you got for controls on it. Now what we're going to do is move to the back here. Use the provided screwdriver. We're going to unscrew this screw to open up the battery compartment to put the batteries in. Seems like it's loose and then you're going to push in on this tab. Pop that open. Pop the batteries in here. And then reverse what we did. And your batteries will be in on the remote. Tighten up this screw here. Get that in there real tight. Just snug, that's all you need. And then we can hit our button here and you can see it lights up, but it's flashing because the car is not on. Now let's take a look at the car. Now the first thing you want to do anytime you play with the RC is you want to turn the radio on first, then you turn the car on. You can see the headlights on that now. They're red on that side. And then on the other side, they are blue. Now to go forward, you want to take both joysticks go forward backwards is both and then you can just spin this around any way you want to we'll back it back up here but that's enough on the table before i end up jumping it off the table let's take it outside and have some fun with it all right now we got this outside in the parking lot just want to run it real quick show you guys a little bit how it works here you can see it can go forward we can rip donuts with it one way rip donuts another go backwards we can go forwards basically you do a lot with this this would definitely be fun for some kids so now that i showed you how it worked see now we flipped it over so everything's backwards now that i show you how everything's worked on the sidewalk out here <laughs> this is what makes it fun what I'm doing is, is I'm going forward and then moving the joysticks a different direction to make it do that.
Now I just want to test and see if it'll go through something like this. And yes, it will. It's going through it perfectly fine. That is good to know. Let's do like I was doing there again. Let's go forward. All right, we made a flip again. This is definitely something fun for kids. You can get crazy with it, rip some donuts. Now let's go ahead and try it in the grass here. This is kind of thick grass. Let's see how that works out. Now we just got some thick grass here and I don't recommend doing this because it'll probably kill the battery quick. But we got to flip over there. And that's probably what it'll end up doing is a lot of flipping. But you can see, <laughs> it just spins it around like that. Bring it back here, got no traction. So yes, definitely not for high grass, but anywhere else, I bet you this is fun. Let's go find some steps and run it on some steps. Now all I wanna do is see how this does with steps, cause it is a stunt vehicle. So let's go ahead and try it on the steps. Came down the steps no problem. See if we can flip it over on the steps here. Get it to go forward here. This is what happens when you try to go against a wall or a step. You gotta like that. That's pretty fun. All right, let me go take this in and give you my final thoughts on it. So as you can see, this thing was a lot of fun out in the parking lot. Would I recommend this? Yes, I would recommend this for kids. I think kids would have a blast with this thing. We had a lot of fun out in the parking lot with it. I showed you that it can go on the pavement and in some loose rock. Really like that the tires are grippy enough to do that. So as always, I'll leave a link down below to Amazon for you guys to check this out. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. And we'll see you all on the next one.